So now that Iron Banner is gone, it's, been, it's been gone for a while. This video is actually really late, but I do apologize. We started getting into fashion and it was a lot of fun, but I do want to get back to my other content, which is reviewing stuff for the, from the game and weapon reviews and other stuff. So I do cover more stuff for Destiny 2, not just fashion. I do a bunch of stuff. So if you guys like the video, I really appreciate a like, a subscription, uh, any of those things, because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and help me sleep at night, a sub would be very much appreciated. So let's just talk about Iron Banner for a second. So we'll first talk about uh, Saladin's changes to his reward system, because I feel like that's the most important part. For the rank rewards, I think that's okay. I think having a tiered system like the other uh, playlist stuff is completely fine. It's completely valid. I have no issue with it whatsoever. My main complaint comes with the ranking of Iron Banner, I guess you would say. The ranking of the playlist goes as follows. Guardian 123, Brave 123, Heroic 123, Fabled 123, Mythic 123, and then Legend, and then you have to fill all the Legend. So you might be wondering, yeah, it's like every other playlist, Tony. Why, why is this a problem? The problem is the fact that this event only comes twice a season now. And it's being like the ranks are being compared to the ranks that we have all the time in a season so i think the discrepancy of like how much progress we get is wild uh again you would have to play all week depending actually for a person like me i killed two i, I prestige twice in one week because i was working my ass off and that was even with bonuses and whatnot so my only issue is if you're gonna have it two weeks in a season, increase the amount that we get. And I know we have bonuses and whatnot, but even with the bonuses, it was still a slog. And this was just for just just for the title because you have to prestige twice to get the title. That this is not even talking about like what if I want to grind a certain weapon? What if I want to do this or that? It's just that I don't like that. The grind is so much worse for Iron Banner now because it's only two weeks now, which I think is stupid. I think it just reverted to how it used to be because Iron Banner is a staple of Destiny 2. I, I know people don't like to hear that because, oh, PvP, but Iron Banner is the second. No, it, actually, technically, it's the oldest event in Destiny 2 and Destiny 1 as well because it was... It wasn't the first event. Actually, the first event was the Queen event, but after that, it was Iron Banner. So Iron Banner has been with us since Destiny 1, and I do want to keep this uh, Iron Banner with us because I feel like it's very important. But having it two weeks in a season is just, it's terrible. I don't personally like it at all. At least have it three, maybe four, because again, two weeks is not enough time. Especially like people have jobs and whatnot. What, what if they can't make it that week or they can only play one or two days that week? I don't know. I think it's just dumb to make this an event like thing when Iron Banner has been a staple in Destiny's history. So that's the first thing. The next thing is the decoding prices are ridiculous. Oh my God. I think if I remember correctly, there were a hundred each for the weapons and armor. I think that's way too much. A hundred is super, super too much because even even like someone like me who has a lot of legendary shards, for me, it wouldn't be a problem because I play this game a lot to the point where a hundred wouldn't really wild me out. Now, granted, if you want to, if you want to start like really grinding out some of these weapons, a hundred can rack up easily. Like I was grinding for the new SMG new quote unquote and i easily killed like 20 which is 2000 and i think 100 is a little too much definitely especially if you're gonna like hype this up as a, as an event definitely decrease it i'm not asking like give me 10 or 20 i'm down like maybe 50 50 would be fine i guess uh realistically i would love it if it was 10 20 20 would make me play this playlist a lot more because it's not like 
20 legendary shards gets me the weapon immediately. I still have to get the Iron Banner uh, engrams anyways. So it would make me play more if it was cheaper. Because a lot of these prices are just like, no, 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 just no. It's ridiculous. So that's actually it for Saladin's uh, reward page. I think it was really good. I really like it. It's just that the fact that it's here for two weeks is really bugging me. And the fact that some of these prices are just outlandish as fuck. Like, good luck farming any of these weapons if you really want it. Especially if he brings back some of the really good weapons he had. It's just going to be ridiculous. Especially for new players that have, like, maybe maybe 300 uh, legendary shards. The, they'll be able to get three weapons from that. So, I just think the prices are ludicrous for the, the, the fact that, Oh, it's only here for two weeks. Then make it cheaper so I can fucking grind this shit out. Next thing we're going to talk about is actually the rift itself. So rift is interesting. I am not going to tell you I hate it. Uh, quite frankly, I actually do like it. My only gripe with it is I don't think it, it's a good iron banner mode. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but personally, I think just make it clash, bro. Clash makes the most sense because you're an iron lord or you're training to be an iron lord and you just... I don't know. Personally, team deathmatch would make the most sense for Iron Banner. That's me personally. I know people are going to give me shit for it because oh, we already have control, which is basically team deathmatch. It's not team deathmatch, my guy. It's it's people just ignoring the objective. That's not team deathmatch. Team deathmatch is legitimately what I want. Again, control is its own thing. I still don't want control for Iron Banner. I do like the fact that once you capture all three uh, parts, you go into hunting mode, which is cool. But I just feel like team deathmatch is just a lot better. And you could add a mechanic where if you kill everyone in that team, then you go into a hunt mode where I don't know, something happens. Maybe maybe a kill counts as two now for like, I don't know how long, whatever. Something like that would be pretty cool. Uh, just because, again, I feel like team deathmatch just makes the most sense for Iron Banner. And I know people are going to give me shit again. Like I said, I'm, I already said this, but. That's just how I feel because Rift, if I'm being quite honest, Rift just feels like a smaller version of Trials of Osiris for me. Uh, I get that that sinking feeling of like, fuck, like I need to I need to I need to really do my best on this. And if it was like Team Deathmatch, I, I grew up playing Team Deathmatch. So for me, it wouldn't be as stressful because it, it's just something I know how to do uh, for not saying that Rift is like, oh, my God. I love objective game modes, but for Iron Banner, I just sometimes I just kind of want to chill back and just play the game, which is why I kind of did like uh, control for Iron Banner, because most of the time you just have to control two nodes and then you can go into the team deathmatch mode. So that's that's my thoughts on Rift. Again, I loved Rift. Rift was a lot of fun. Most of my fashion videos have been showing you guys Rift all my matches and here as well i'll show you all of my matches as well i had a lot of fun with rift it's just that i don't like the feeling of i don't like the fact that it gives me the same feeling of playing trials of osiris that like sinking i need to compete uh, uh mentality i hate that feeling because it it sucks the the fun away from iron banner and iron banner for a long time has just been fun for me and this season has kind of not been fun for me i mean to be fair it has been fun but damn, dude, some of them, some of those were like, if I fuck up here, I fuck it up for everyone and all that shit. So I don't know. Again, I'm not against like objective play and all that stuff. It's just personally, Iron Banner has always been a team deathmatch thing for me. And I've always wanted team deathmatch from Iron Banner. Uh, I would not be opposed if like, let's say if it was here for four weeks, I wouldn't be opposed if it alternated modes. So for example, if the first week we had rift and then the next week we had clash or team deathmatch and then for the the week after that we had like a iron banner trials or not trials labs there we go an iron banner labs where people are or their bungees trying new things i would be super fucking dope with that or you could have labs on the separate game mode for iron banner so let's say you just want to play regular uh, iron banner that week or you want to try the new labs that would be cool as well uh, overall, I think that Iron Banner still needs, I think Iron Banner still needs to be looked at, but not as much as it used to. I think the changes that we've gotten have propelled it way more forward than how it was before, because before it was fucking terrible. Now, 
I, I'm liking the changes. I still think Rift shouldn't be the game mode, but I'm also okay with it being like rotated in and out, I guess you would say. Like control would be cool to see again. If it would also make sense because Iron Band like Saladin is training us for to become Iron Lords, so it would make sense for him to like rotate stuff out, in and out to like keep us fresh. So I know this is a long conversation of just me saying I don't like Rift, but I really do love Rift. I I played it back in D1, D1. I loved it there. I love it here. Uh, not the first week. The first week was really, really terrible with the bugs and whatnot. But the second week was a lot of fun. I burned myself out a little because, again, I wanted to get the Iron Lord title. And I was grinding out the the hero's burden SMG. But overall, I have more positive things to say than negative, to be quite honest. Because I don't hold the first week against Bungie. Uh, bugs will happen. I mean, they shouldn't because they're a big-ass company. But, you know, whatever uh the end of the day the second week was really cool no bugs that from me at at least i didn't i saw no bugs but i will i would be lying if i said that rift just doesn't feel like iron banner to me so other than that we have the challenges uh iron banner gear and iron banner emblem stuff so for example the challenges completed only count towards one character which is really weird but once you complete it, you get a, a bonus, which is really cool. The Iron Banner gear equipped also gives you a bonus. And then the emblem also gives you a bonus. So you do get a lot of bonuses, but I just wish the the amount to hit legend was less than the other playlist because it's not the same. It really is not. Uh, maybe cut it in half. I wouldn't say cut it like, ev like more than half. I think half is completely fine. I think they just need to tune how much we get per per. Uh, Per completion because even even with having the bonuses in mind it just takes forever like forever and i'd rather not burn myself out on iron banner for that week and then the next time just be like no nah, i don't want to play that shit ever again so let me know what you guys think about iron banner in the in the comments below i really liked it but at the same time i do have my issues with it again if they rotated game modes in and out or if they had separate game modes i think that'd be pretty cool i think they should do that to see like which playlist people like the most and then just kind of cut which one they didn't like or just rotate them in and out i think that would be nice because people people would like different modes for iron banner at least i feel like that. i shouldn't talk for everyone i personally would like to see different game modes for iron banner with specifically being like rift definitely should stay for iron banner but it shouldn't be the only one. I think Rift, uh, Team Deathmatch, and Control should all rotate in and out within the season. And then maybe the last season could be the lab season where, or the labs week where they try something new, which would be really cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media, outlets. again, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you guys later.